So we are going to talk about being a health worker and your family, how you take care of your family. It's not easy. Me, <coughs> I just have two kids and my family so I'm like, if it's not for my mom, if my mom, it's, 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 if you watch my WhatsApp status there, you know, my mom is like, it's, she's the one holding it down. She's the one really holding it down because any easy cry. So we are going to share our experiences. Join us and uh, let's talk. <laughs> Time with Dr. Adams. Hi, welcome back. So, um, Dr. Adams here, Mama Lou here. And um, when I talk to my colleagues who, who have children, sometimes I feel I'm the only one going through all these problems. Like, um, I need help. I'm always saying, having a toddler, boss baby is two years and six months. Um, 50 MPH is almost three months. It's not easy. And then the thing is that the amazing thing is I have help. My mom is helping me. But me too, I said, my breath, like I'm always tired. There's always something to do. I can't even read. Sometimes I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to complete my thesis with uh, my MPH that I'm studying. And there's always something to do. You see, when I'm talking to my other colleagues, they're also going through the same thing. It's like, yeah, breath, as health workers, uh, when you are going to marry a health worker, just know, say, Charlie, or they come morning, afternoon, evening, mm -hmm. it's and easy. And it's, I've not had it easy. If my mom wasn't here at home, I don't know what I would do. It's like she's the one who, who helps us along all this, uh, has been helping us along this journey. It's, it's not been easy. Well, how was your journey? It was it easy. Because I lost my mom when I was 18. And I had only one sister, my other sister, my other sister. With the first born, when I came back from Govodia, I delivered in Govodia, then I resumed. I was leaving my baby with only but until I had a house from our village. Things were all right, but I was managing. The second born too, the same thing. But the worst of all was Abigail's time. I didn't have anybody. So the first one, what happened? I have to bring him back to my sister at age three months. So he had rest more for three months. He didn't rest for six months. No, 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 no. I couldn't. Three months he was already in Kofodia. The day I brought him to my sister, I returned to Accra because the next morning I was on duty. So my sister started him on sorry to very early. And came to a point when I can't, he couldn't recognize me that I was their mother. When my sister's children were calling me auntie, he was also calling me auntie. But then I have to accept it. Until age two, my sister's husband used to be a bank manager, so they were going on transfers. So I came for my son, and when we went back, he never accepted me as the biological mother. He was always crying. I would go to mommy, 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 mommy. He wasn't eating well. He became sick. One Wednesday, that day, <laughs> when I remember it, <laughs> I become very emotional. I didn't know he was running out from the house. We were still in the compound house. And he was running out just looking for his mother. I didn't know. So people were calling for us, Auntie, see, 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 see. And lo and behold, when I read that he was crossing the main street from Odoko to Kwashima, that's the area we were living. So people were screaming, driver, driver, driver. He managed to stop and I caught him in the middle of the street. And I was crying. So people were asking me, Nani mommy way. Father come the mommy and said I'm the mother. Oh. I could only see what kind of man was just so bad. No, people didn't believe me. So when I told them the true story that he wasn't staying with me, they advised me. Everybody was advising. Fanu koma was sister. Fanu koma sister. And he was always getting sick because he was not eating well. When he wake up, mommy. When you are bathing, you mommy everything, mommy. 
So I brought him very sick to Gophobia and he was admitted for some three days and he became okay. I left him. The next time I went for him, he was nine years. They were in transfer at Temali. Nine years. And even that, he was not even accepting me. Yes. But did you and also start siblings. telling him that you are his mother? Yes. Still. But still, he called my sister mommy and my sister's husband daddy. So he was not accepting the siblings. It took time before he started playing with them. So it was easy. With the second born to yes, I had another hassle, but because of problems in the village, the parents had to come for her. A whole lot of problems. So I was leaving him with friends, tenants, and money, but it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. And you know, I work, we have morning shift, afternoon, and night. At one year, I have to leave him with the father for nights. He has to wake up in the night and feed yes, and feed him. But with money, we find the girls one. It was easy. That one too. I had another house who left. So every morning, after putting on my uniform, my bag, I pack my baby's bag, then I go around the house. Well, we leave your lotion. That's gone. Are you for morning or afternoon? She, when the person say, Auntie Ness, in your shiny, meaning, I mean, the oh, afternoon. I said, Hold my baby. When I'm going to school, she like, I said, Give her to anybody. Just like that. I wasn't happy. We had no men, I should not cheat her. And I would pray throughout. At work. I was never happy at work. I don't know what is happening to my baby. Who is handling her? How is she going to be fed? Even when she falls and hits the head, is the person going to tell me? Or oh, okra me not if you or that you see that your baby is running temperature. You start treating for what you don't know. So when I close from work, that's the worst place. When I reach home around four, five PM, then I go round. One mummy banu. Have you seen my baby? Oh, Nambile. Ah, sister, so so and so. I saw her with that sister. Then I'll go to that sister's house. Oh, 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 I go. I'm looking for sister. So, so, so. Ah, your baby here. Ah, that woman here came for her. Then I'll go to that woman here. I'll go to that house. So I'll go around to maybe the third house. Just to be told. Ah, sister, so may see. Took her to the market. So I have to sit down and wait for her. The way she come and collect the baby. You not believe it. Where the feeding bottle will be lying. Very dirty and covered. I'll just take my baby, take the feeding bottle. Whom do I blame? Nobody. Because I left her with a school child. Mm -hmm. mm. So every day I have to wash the feeding bottles very well and boil them. The next day, back to square one continue for so many times sometimes I weep Lord that I said I wish I had my mother alive if my mother was alive I would just call her to come and stay with me so it doesn't be easy at all that's why when I came home I was called for contract when I started with just two months she started with the severe vomiting and the way she was calling me in her spirit Explaining the way she was feeling, I said, I have to stop this work and go and help her. For me, I didn't have a mother, but for her, her mother is alive. So that's why I stopped everything to come and help her. Because with the vomiting, I think she inherited it from me. Mm -hmm. And the that's way the experience I went through, and with work and the shift system, it wasn't easy at all. So with Pregnancy and childbearing and taking care of the children of our sick way. It wasn't easy for me. By the grace of God, today I'm telling you that you too can go through. You can go through. God is able. It's not easy. So, um, at every stage, if you need help, um, like she said, she wasn't so fortunate that her parents, especially her mother, wasn't alive. 
but I'm grateful to God <laughs> that my mother, she's alive, so she's helping me. So wherever you find yourself, always ask for help. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. Ask for help. If your mom is there, if your mom is alive, hallelujah. If your mom is there alive, family members, send out family members. Sometimes even friends can also help as well. But whatever it is, I just want you to know that don't go through it and you just ask for help. So thank you for sticking with us. I mean, Shira, uh, Grandma. Amen. Hey, boss yes. baby. <laughs> boss baby, a PV and PH will buy her an aeroplane very soon. Yes. <laughs> We're back away. Oh, maybe we need some more PNC. Yes, you also have now. Sorry, I'm a PNC. So thank you for watching. We just want to encourage you that it's not easy. She's been through it. Uh, I'm also going through it, and whoever has been through it that you're watching, just know that ask for help, and God will be see prayerful. You. Yes, be prayerful. All right. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment. Let me know if there's anything you want us to talk about. In the comment section below, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in another video. Bye. Time